What's up? I'm Wetzel from Attack Attack, and you're watching Bring the Noise. Ian Arnold from Bring the Noise UK, here with Attack Attack. How's it going, dude? It's going all right. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. How's it feel to be in London? Because obviously it, the dates were postponed, and now you're finally here. Excited? Nervous? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a good feeling being, uh, being across the Atlantic and... Uh, Having shows that have been selling well, and you know, having people here that are really excited about the band. I mean, it's definitely really excited, and glad that uh, glad we got everything worked out. Were you um, surprised by the growing fan base here? Was it something you expected at the beginning to be so popular on this side of, of the ocean? I mean, yeah, it's definitely a surprise. It's uh, it's always a pleasant surprise when you can travel very far from home yeah. and have people that you know know who you are and and enjoy what you do and and uh, you know want to help facilitate you to come and hang out and have a. A little bit of a holiday. Yeah, just a little bit of a holiday. A few Saturdays in London. Yeah, a couple Saturdays here. So, um, the previous tour was postponed because uh, uh, Johnny was ill. And then shortly after, he, he left the band. Are the two closely connected, or was it just coincidental? <laughs> um, yeah, those, it's one and the same. We, um, that, right before, uh, a couple of days before we were supposed to fly over here, that's when Johnny said that he really wanted to... Uh, just uh, really get a new perspective on like what he's doing with his life and how it works with the band and everything and and so I mean naturally you can't yeah. just say that because that's a really that's a, it's, an extremely it, open-ended kind, of, kind of statement it could be a oh god they're over sort of yeah yeah so we didn't we did you know we just had to just had to cover it and kind of see what happened and you know we didn't want to put a bunch of pressure on Johnny yeah. by you know just being like yeah you know like Johnny's thinking about quitting the band or something yeah. and you know we just didn't want to put that on him so we just kind of covered just, with it he was ill just not that ill yeah it's not that ill so um you've got your self-titled album out um how's the reaction for that been because I know you know sometimes people look at maybe your band and it's a bit uh you divide opinion so the people that love you, love you. The people that don't love you, don't love you at all. Um, do you like being a band that does that because at least every, almost everyone's got an opinion on you? Or would you just rather you had a lot of lovers? Um, I mean, the second, our second record, the self-titled record, um, the response we got from it was, um, it was much different than the first one. Yeah. Um, because it's you know we weren't just kind of just flying out of the gates with something that's uh, completely different than yeah. what what's been happening. So a lot of people knew what to expect, and um, we were really happy with the way we arranged it and the way that we took our our new genres and put them together. So I mean, it's cool to have um, a mixture of people you know that think differently about your band, and you know it's important to understand how to use both the love and the hatred to yeah. to help fuel you. I mean with uh, with you know the age we live in with the internet and like YouTube and stuff like that yeah. it's um like a band like us that's more of like a more of a niche market yeah. kind of band you know we really only um, are attractive to a, a much smaller group of people as yeah. opposed to radio music and stuff like that um, you just have to be prepared that when you put your music on the internet where everyone can see it you know millions and millions and millions of people see it you know obviously they aren't all gonna yeah. like it yeah. so it's important to understand that and not let that get the best of you how do you how do you deal with that do you take any of it personally do you get days where you might read a negative review or some bitchy comment directed you do you let it get you down or are you just like you know what I'm privileged to be where I am yeah I mean I'm here in London and I grew up in a suburb in Columbus Ohio you know it's yeah. right outside of a little city in the Midwest where there's cows and and farming and you know I mean it's it's just you kind of look at it objectively you know there's it's gonna happen you know not everybody loves you yeah. so I mean we don't let it get us down at all um, in fact a, a lot of honestly the criticism that we get where people are just hating on us relentlessly is that's where we've gotten a lot of inspiration from stuff like lots of really good ideas have come out of like reading comments like that and be like oh I mean that's not really a valid point but it's an opinion but think time. about this what yeah. if we did this you know and so I mean it's what it's was just, the music scene for you growing up was it obviously the internet maybe wasn't as prolific as it is now and everything wasn't in people's faces. Um, was this music scene really influential around in Ohio? Or was it just the whole music in general that you got inspired by? Um, yeah, I mean, our scene that we grew up in in Ohio was, um, it was really cool. It was like a really involved um, scene and from the time when we started um, Attack Attack, we all played in like other yeah. local bands. Um, in fact, most of our local bands played shows. We all have played shows with each other yeah. in other bands. 
Is that where you all met, just to... Yeah, pretty much. We all grew up, like, playing in bands in the same scene, and then, uh, you know, it's one day, you know, Andrew Whiting decided that he was going to give me a call, and then yeah. I started playing drums with him, and then, you know, like, Caleb and John, and, you know, they, they came into the scene and everything, and so, you know, it's it was a really... As the the best way to describe our scene was that it was like a it was a really encouraging scene because everybody in our scene was friends and yeah. it was like all the kids were like really into music so there really was like no harm like no yeah. foul like there's nothing you could do that no one like wouldn't like yeah, yeah, yeah. so technically you are an Ohio supergroup I I guess you could say yeah. that in your hometown you are the supergroup yes. you're the Velvet Revolver of yes. Ohio yeah we're the Velvet Revolver of Westerville Ohio um so looking at um the genre I believe you created named um. Do you not like being pigeonholed, which is why you named the whole genre yourself, or is it just the fact you know you're gonna do it, that people are gonna do it, so you're like, fuck it, just call us this? Yeah, I mean, it's it just it really depends on how you look at it. Um, if anybody, you know, if anybody's gonna own this this genre that we've created, yeah. it, it should be us because we've, you know, we're we're not ones to be you know constricted or to be put in a box yeah. by any kind of title. And, you know, really the genre that we've created revolves around the formula with which we write our music, not the actual mu the types of music that go into it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's cool to have, like, you know, the notoriety, I guess, that, you know, like, we've yeah. created our own genre. But at the same time, it doesn't restrict us at all. It just kind of fuels yeah. us to go even, reach even further out into other genres and really, like, bring... I was going to say, do you think you'll always stay within that genre? Or is it now you're going to look at it at one point, you know what, this we're going to almost spread our wings and... I mean... You never can tell with yeah. us. You never know. And every day is a new day for us. It really is. And, you know, like, we all have, you know, we fully understand, like, the position that we're in and we appreciate all of it. So we, like, you know, we're really in a good position to have the maximum amount of fun and creativity yeah. with what we're doing. Cool. Um, last question we've got to bring up. There was some comments made on, on your Facebook page around certain bands. Um, what was the catalyst for that and why sort of those bands? The Martyr Defiled and Antations from an Autopsy. Oh, that? Yeah. yeah. I've, our Facebook just got hacked. That wasn't oh. even us. I actually, we, I think a couple of the Martyr Defiled guys were at the show the other night. Oh. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I run our Facebook and I heard about this secondhand from Jacko, the drummer of Barry Tomorrow. Yeah. He like BBM me and was like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, what do you mean, what's yeah. going on? What are you talking about? And he was, and then he sent me the link and I saw it and I was like, oh shit. Because the comments so not were good. flying. Through. Oh yeah, everywhere. It was just. Whoever has the email address for that, their emails must oh, be flying. Oh man, through. it was like a just napalm bomb just yeah. went off. But yeah, no, I, we, we talked to all of them and I was like, yeah. So it's all cool I don't now. Know what happened with that? It's fine. Even yeah. the guy who started Facebook, his Facebook was hacked the other day. So yeah, you gotta. I don't it, even know how it happened. It happened. It happens to everyone. Yeah. Um, one quick question: If you were to look at when the band first started and yourself personally, um, and look at where you are, you're at now. Is there anything you, could, if you could go back and just say, "Hey, dude, do this." A bit of advice. Would there be any? Uh, no. I don't think so at no, all. I mean, you're just extremely happy where you are now. Yeah, I mean, the everything that's happened, you know, in our band's career, like all the member changes and yeah. all all the hard times, all the trials and tribulations, like all of those things are what have defined us, like as individuals and like as a band, and like that's you know that's why I'm standing yeah. here talking to you. So I mean, it's definitely very much PMA. Oh yeah, all the way. All right, thank you for your time and enjoy the show tonight. Thank you very much, and we'll see you there. Yep.